Hello everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. I'm very excited to share with you this new TTS model which has been released by Zephra. The reason I am excited is because the previous models which I have covered from the same company have been of quite good quality and always struck me with something different. As you can see on the screen, I have covered their Zamba model which were quite good and SOTA in lot of benchmarks. That is why in this video we are going to not only install this Zonos model locally and play around with it. Let me give you a very quick overview as what exactly is this model. TLDR, this is a Apache 2 license multilingual text to speech model with instant voice cloning. That's right. You just input text and a 10 30 second speaker sample comes up to generate high quality text to speech output. If you look at its architecture, it is also quite simple and straightforward. What is happening in this diagram is that text normalization and phonemization with eSpeak followed by DAC token prediction through a transformer or hybrid backbone. So pretty simple. We already have covered this architecture and similar architectures of these TTS models on the channel. So if you are interested in learning more and diving deep, just search it on the channel and you should be able to find heaps of videos around it. So in summary, it is it has, I think, uh, has got the whole full potential to become leading open weight text to speech model because this has been trained on just 200k hours of variant multilingual speech and not only it does the TTS but also it delivers expressiveness and quality on par with other top TTS providers. So the model provides highly natural speech generation so let's check it out. Before I do that let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on very affordable prices I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on range of GPUs. This is my Ubuntu system and this is my GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. Now, I will be installing it through Docker. You can also install it manually, but I would highly recommend that you go with Docker because it also gives you the Gradio. Now, there are two ways of installing it. One is through manual where you have to worry about a lot of prerequisites and stuff the other one is through docker so make sure that you have docker installed i have a recent version of docker if you don't know how to install it just search my channel i already have covered it in a very simple to follow video so next up we need to git clone the repo of this so you see i'm just going to go with this zonos repo by the way zonos is a greek word then the meaning of zonos in greek is zone and sometimes it is also used for belt okay so zonus is cloned next all we need to do is to use docker compose in order to bring uh, this docker container up so first time it is going to download it and then it is going to start the demo on our local systems so let's wait for it to get downloaded and installed meanwhile let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are iGenBot. iGenBot lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge bot across platforms like Discord, Slack and others. It is ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support and I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Okay, so let's go back and check what is happening. Let's wait for it. It is going to take a minute or so as you can see. There are 10 steps. And it took around five minutes to get everything installed and running and you can see that now it is running on our local host at port 7860 so let me access it in my browser and there you go so zonos is running now you see that it is processing first time so if i go to the terminal so it is just loading the model and stuff so Let's just wait for this one to finish. I'll just give it a couple of minutes to see what is happening. And it is quite filled up. Like there are some generation parameter at the bottom with some guidance and some of the seed values. 
it is pretty cool and eventually everything is initialized took around i would say a minute to get everything initialized and you can see that there are some conditioning parameters and then some emotional sliders let me try to make it a bit bigger so okay much better hopefully you can see it now so this is what i was talking about these emotional sliders that you can increase happiness reduce uh, sadness and then some other emotions surprise anger which is quite good and then there are some toggles too and you go up this is where you give it a text prompt and it generates a audio and you can also upload a sample audio file towards the end in order to get it cloned there are some languages here so english and then there are a lot of other you can check it out from their language code there are italian german lot of languages are there chinese is there to russian cool okay so and you can check their language code now there are two variants of it one is transformer the other one is hybrid i'm just going to go with the transformer one and it says that i'll just convert it to something else a small one so i'll just say here and i have just given it an uplifting uh, prompt or text that a radiant smile spread across her lips filling her being with uncontainable joy defining the essence of happiness so i'm just going to go down and english us has been selected i'll just click on generate audio it is generating the audio and then i'll just wait here meanwhile i will just check out the vram consumption so it is consuming uh, just 4.5 gig of vram which is not bad at all and the audio has been generated let me try to play it here because i am accessing it in my remote session so i'm not sure if my speakers are uh, attached to the remote session but let's try it out otherwise i will try to down download it from here a radiant smile spread across her lips filling her being with uncontainable joy defining the essence of happiness I think that was really really good. So let's try to do some emotion. So I'm just going to uh, increase the disgust, and I will remove the happiness. Okay, and I will also change the sentence accordingly. So I'm asking it the rotten eggs, putrid stench made her stomach churn in revulsion. So it's pretty disgusting. So let's see. I'll generate the audio, and you see that it is quite quick. That's it. Like in three seconds, four seconds, it was already done. Let's play it. The, the rotten eggs' putrid stench made her stomach churn in revulsion. Okay, so what do you think? I mean, did it show disgust or not? There was a hint of it, but not as much as I was hoping. Because you see, I have just put it hundred percent. Okay, no worries. So let's try out maybe. I'll just move the disgust back, and I will now use a surprise one. I'll just make it one here. Okay, so now I am testing the surprise. So I'm just saying she opened the door to find her entire family screaming surprise in unison. Let's check it out. And I think I would just just also make sure I'll just play it, and then I will also decrease other. She ones. opened the door to find her entire family screaming surprise in unison. Yeah, so it was neutral. So maybe this is what we are doing wrong. So I'll just move it back, move it back. Surprise is there. I'll just move sadness. Happiness is fine. Let's move fear. Disgust zero. I'll just make rest of it zero. Let's try out now. She opened the door to find her entire family screaming surprise in unison. Yeah, so it doesn't show me the surprise here, and it is I am not skipping the emotion. Anyway, regardless of this emotion, I think the TTS quality is sublime. and the speed is really instantaneous let's check out its voice cloning so let me select my own voice by just uh, from my local system and then we will do the same one here so i have uploaded my own very short audio let me play it first 
create a python function that calculates the area of a rectangle given its length and width okay and let's try to generate the audio now i don't see any other option so it should be good so let's check it out pretty quick so it is showing around 5 second where it has exceeded so voice cloning takes bit of a time so let's wait and that is completed so remember what we are doing here is this is a text um, which we are giving it and we want it to generate the audio in my voice which I just played so it has uh, completed the audio let me play it and you will be the judge she opened the door to find her entire family screaming surprise in unison okay. I would say that voice is mine cloning is quite good no doubt about that but the voice which it has generated it is pretty I would say um, monotonous it is it doesn't show any sort of um, emotion there maybe we would have to play around with these sliders to make it a bit more um, sounding natural but other than that I think we just need to spend some time here but I think voice cloning is quite good okay no worries so let's try to do some multilingual and see how that works okay so for the first multilingual text I'm going to go with this pap language now like you I also didn't know about which language is that so the AI tells me that this is the language called as papiamento which is a creole language spoken in Caribbean islands of Aruba, Bonaire and few others and I have never heard of those islands too and I'm quite good at geography I believe so pretty good to learn something new so I'm just giving it this uh, sentence in this pap in papiamento language which means in English I am feeling sad so let's generate the audio and if you speak that language please also confirm okay not bad I would say okay next language I am going to try is UR which is Urdu that is a national language of Pakistan and also gets spoken in various other parts of the world so let me play uh, generate the audio the font is not there so I'm not sure if it would be able to detect it but let's test it, test it out and see how quick that is yeah it, it got it mostly right but of course the uh, accent was not correct but that's fine I'll take it as a good one and next let's try out one in Indonesian and I'm going to generate the audio here saya marasa sangat bahagia hari ini yeah not bad I would say so look I think it is um, quite good not only in voice cloning in multilingual in TTS and I think the only thing which we were unable to see through properly was emotions but maybe we need to play around with these sliders but other than that really I would say outstanding model or TTS one play around with it let me know what do you think about it if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please do me a favor and share it among your network as that is only marketing I do much appreciated